Hello YouTube, I finally got a nice day where I'm at, so I thought today would be a good day to put a coat of paint on the carbine build that I've upgraded over the last few of my videos. Um, the first thing I'm going to do here is spray it down with some brake cleaner just to get any of the excess oil off of there. There shouldn't be too much, but it doesn't hurt to do this step. Next, I'm going to tape off anything I don't want paint on, such as the trigger, the sights, and the front of the optic. Alright, now that I've got the sights taped off, the trigger taped off, the rubber butt pad, and the optic, I'm going to go ahead and lay down my first coat of paint. I'm going to be using a Rust-Oleum uh, Earth Brown as my first coat just because it's the darkest thing I'm going to put on this rifle and I don't want it to end up being very dark in the end. Alright, now that the first coat has dried a bit, I'm going to uh, put some tape on there, just random uh, tearings of tape to create my pattern. Um, so I'll put this on and then I'll put the next coat of paint on. Alright, for our next layer I'm going to be using a Rust-Oleum Army Green. Um, this is a lighter green and again this is another color I don't want a whole lot of on the end rifle so I'm going to put it as my second layer. Alright, for my next coat I'm going to use the Rust-Oleum Khaki. Um, and you can see I kind of changed up my paint pattern here, or my tape pattern I should say, because it was taking way too long to apply the small strips and getting them to tear up with no straight edges. So what I did was I started tearing the tape in half so I could wrap it around the rifle and then I would take the other half of the tape and put the two flat sides together so I ended up with uh, kind of a torn edge but there shouldn't be any real flat hard edges either. Uh, just for point of reference, that last layer was Rust-Oleum Deep Forest Green. Alright, as you can see, I ran out of the blue painter's tape, so I went to my garage and just found some uh, tape that was lying around from when we bought the place. Uh, my next color is going to be Rust-Oleum sand color. This is going to be my final top coat. Alright, now that the final coat is dry, it's time to peel off all the tape and see what we ended up with. Okay, I left the tape on the rubber butt pad and the light and the sight still because before I call it good, I'm going to put a coat of this matte clear coat on there. Um, this just kind of keeps the paint from smudging and just kind of sets everything so that it doesn't move around. Personally, I think the rifle looks a little bit like the old plastic rifles they used to sell in the grocery store. But as you can see, the camo works quite well in my area, especially for this time of year. Um, we'll see how it holds up over time and how it looks when things get a little bit greener. 
Um, if you found this video helpful or informative, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions on what you would have done differently or things I might improve, please leave a comment down below. Thank you.